Let's do 51, lesson 51, the one candle ranging channel I have kept saying we'll do it. This is very, very, it will be a very, very interesting video with full information. So grab your book and your notebook and your pen and write the following rules. Anytime you want to do a one candle uh, strategy, a one candle ranging strategy, you need to understand there are, diff there are two types of ranging market. We have a ranging market that it's um, maybe it's an uptrend and then the market cannot break a certain area, then goes down, cannot break a certain support. So this is a ranging of many candles. So we might have a market behaving like this. So you can spot that there is a place where the market is not able to break. So this one we call a normal, it's a normal ranging. Why? because there's a certain area the market is not able to break. And this one, you, we use the normal uh, ranging rule. You wait for the market to break either side. Most of the time, this big ranging like this may have a, a fake out. The market may break with a green candle and later the market can sell. Immediately it breaks, it can still sell. So this one I've found to have so many fake out, like it can break above at resistance and still sell down. But the one candle ranging, the difference between this one and the one candle ranging, the one candle ranging is, let's say a green candle and then followed by a red candle. Um, and then, followed by a green which is which is small like that that's what we say uh one candle like it's there are one candle one even you can count and then when you come to realize there if you come to realize your candles are ranging so the difference between the one candle ranging and the normal ranging that we know this one if it breaks even you can have something like this you can have a spinning top. It can have different feel. Like you can have a spinning top, but as long as it's one candle, it can have very funny candles, but it's one candle ranging. If you know what I mean, um, you understand already. So the, you, when you can count one, two, three, like this market is ranging with one candle. So the difference between this one if this one breaks, if they decide they'll break above, they don't give a fake out. That's the only difference, guys. This one is more sure bet than the second one. So this one, we call it a one candle ranging. I, I, I will show you a one candle ranging with monthly. Then we will look for one candle ranging with weekly and then we'll, we'll build it up so that you might understand. So this one is one candle ranging. Meaning if that market breaks above, it will go, it will continue to buy. But this is a ranging channel, an overall ranging channel, which might have fake out. So that's the only difference. And the pips on this is more, the pips on this is more ranging channel. The pips on this can be from, let's say 300 to 1000 pips. That ranging can have so many pips. But this one, the pips can be between 100 to that 300. So this one doesn't have so many pips because it's just one candle. So it depends. If this one candle ranging is on monthly, it can carry like, let's say, 200 to 300. If it's on weekly, it can carry 100 to 150. If it's on daily, it can be just like a 70, 100 pips. But if it's four hours, it's like 50 to 70 pips. So we have known what ranging will be favoring. We'll be favoring one candle ranging rather than uh, the bigger ranging. Now, let's go to our rules. Can be found in four hours daily, weekly, or monthly. So this one candle ranging can be found in any time frame. And 
we will reach up to four hour. So don't go below one minute, two hours, one hour. No, I've, for me, the strategy, I have tested it up to four hour. So you can try it on four hour. And it is easier to know arranging market on four. I will show you in another video. It is very easy. Just kind of start to consolidate in one area. Just put at that box and wherever the direction the market will break, that's where the market will go. So it can appear in many time frames, like four hour, week, daily, weekly, or monthly. Target 50 to 100 pips in the ranging if it is weekly or monthly. For instance, if you want to trade inside this ranging, like if you don't want to wait for the market to break and you find a pattern on another time frame, let's say it's a monthly, you only target 50 to 100 pips. You cannot target more because you are remembering this is a ranging market. So that market keeps bouncing back, buy, sell, buy, sell until they break the direction. And if you know if they break the direction, let's say they break the buy and you are selling, you should close the sell trade and you buy. So uh, don't target so many pips. If it's four hour or daily wait to break either support or resistance, the one candle ranging on four hour and daily would not trade inside it because it's fewer pips, like 50 to 70 pips. There's no need of confusing yourself trying to trade. But this ranging on weekly and monthly, if you get a good setup on a lower time frame, you can trade and don't hold the trade. That's what the rule means. Number four, buy or sell and hold once it breaks. So note, we are not holding any position if we decide to trade. Let's say you see this red and you sell like 20 pips, 30, 50 pips, you're not holding. But once the market breaks above, hold that trade to that direction, like just measure and then hold to that distance. It goes that distance, guys. Hold that distance. If it breaks below, hold until the end of that distance. This is the like the most um enjoyable patterns to trade. And with examples on this uh mod on these lessons that you are doing, you'll be able to understand what I mean. So you will hold until it hit the take profit. Once it breaks, it's you, it's your time to do what? To trade until it, it hits take profit. So we I think we'll do four lessons on each time frame. And today I have decided to start with the monthly and then we'll build it up after four hours so that you can notice the difference. So let's the rules are done. You can copy those rules to always remember. Now I want to show you how ranging, uh, one candle ranging looks like. This is how one candle ranging looks like. And it has to be at least four or five candles. So if you count four or five candles, you have a ranging channel. Uh, not channel, channel is not one candle. This is one candle. So I want us to count the candles. I want you to count from here, from this one. That is one. Number one, this is two. And then we have the third one. And then we have the fourth. The minute is three, four already, it is a one candle ranging. It has been accepted. So we have how many candles? We have one, two, three, four, five. Five candles that are in one place. This is monthly time frame, meaning that for five months, this market has been in one spot. That's why one candle ranging is very, very important. So have you spotted how I have known it's one candle ranging? So you can't say this is one candle ranging. Why? Because the resistance keep changing. This resistance keep changing. This resistance, there is no resistance, but that high keeps changing. This high keeps changing. The market push on another high, and then the high changes. But let's let's try to understand our ranging, one candle ranging, what happens. So this is our low. It's either they take the low or the high. So that's our low, and this is our high of that candle. So the previous candle gets involved in the same. The green candle breaks out, so we have a new high, but the low maintains. The red candle breaks a low a, a little bit, but the high comes 
remains and the green one maintains. So in short, that's how we get a ranging one candle ranging. It produces the same high or the same low. The same high or the same low. I want us to see the distance of this ranging, one candle ranging, you can see what we are dealing with. The distance of this candle ranging is 607 pips. This one is a bit huge. For monthly, you can get even a thousand. That's why I've said for monthly starts from 300 pips to a thousand pips. But for the, but for the, daily and and four hour starts it's it's lower it's like a hundred to seventy pips that's why we are supposed when you see a ranging a one candle ranging on monthly there is opportunity you can buy in that one candle ranging but you are not supposed to hold the position because 600 pips the position from one level to the other is 600 pips in between you can get opportunity so how do we analyze such a market we'll do the same way we always do we start with market structure. We start with the market structure. Guys, what do you think of this market structure? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, guys? What is the market structure? If you said an upward market, you are right. So the market structure is supporting what? Buy. The market structure is supporting buy. What is the price action? The price action is this candle that we have, these candles that we have. And because these, once we start analyzing, you are going to a new month already, this candle has closed, is still a bullish candle supporting what? A buy. So number one is a buy. Price action is a buy. Do we have a pattern, guys? Yes. If you see a double bottom, so we have two double bottoms. We have the larger double bottom and we had this small double bottom. This one already they have completed. <laughs> the one that they are yet to complete, this one they completed, you can see. The one that are yet to complete is this one, where they are supposed to come to the neckline. So you see, they have a long way to go. They have a long way to go to the neckline. So again, what is being supported by? So it is making our work easier. Why? Because the market is supporting buy. From price action, market structure, forex pattern, all of them are suggesting buy. When we come to break of structure, BOS, if we want to know how between support and resistance, which one is getting broken? Between resistance and support. This is something I want to introduce in this lesson. Between support and uh, resistance, which one do you think has been broken? Between support and resistance, which one do you think has been broken? So I told you guys here we don't have any, this is the support that has been there. And then we have a, a down support. If we try to look for a resistance, we have this resistance and we have a resistance that has been broken. Like we have a highest resistance and a current resistance that was broken. Can you see this current resistance was broken here? Meaning between resistance and support, again, which side is being broken? The buy side, buyers are breaking, resistance making, even for the support and resistance, our, our resistance is what is getting broken so we have bos on resistance now with all this analysis there's so much so so much analysis as in supporting the buy so as much as it's a ranging channel you already know i'm dealing with a ranging candle one candle ranging channel on monthly how do i go about weekly so already you know the market is a strong buy let's see on the monthly, we do not have a pattern because this is almost exhausting. So, and I don't like a, a double bottom that has three times. So I will not, I will not consider that double bottom. So let's go to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we already know that buy is being supported. 
but as we want to work with patterns so that we can know pattern one, pattern two, pattern three, so that we can continue with them, with the continue with the analysis and be able to know which side the market wants us to enter. So the first thing that I see is this double top. Can you see it, guys? There is the double top. If this double top is only on, if this double top is only on the weekly, it means it is our first pattern. If this double top is only on the weekly, it means it's our first pattern. So the double top is like that. Let's go to the monthly and try to spot. Do we have the double top? Nope, we don't have the double top. Now that makes our first pattern, makes our first pattern. You see, yes, we know it's arranging. Yes, we know the market will buy. Yes, we know all these things, but we need to know the direction of the market. So this is P1, pattern one. And it's a double top because I've seen it has even broken half. And this one was easier to trade. Imagine you found this trade when it was giving you, uh, this, was, this was an easy trade, by the way. Those who entered this market, they really enjoyed. Let me show you what why, why I mean this was an easy trade. If this was our double top, this is our neckline. Do you agree? That's our neckline. And if that's our neckline, let's measure our half, guys. What? This was an easy trade. I wish I was there to trade it. Oh my God, this was so easy trade. So this is our neckline. Note that double top is not on the monthly. It is not on the monthly. So you have the neckline. And this is our half. So how do you enter a double top? You you check for a red candle. If it has not engulfed, you put a box. And this candle is a shooting star. So it is giving us more confirmation. You place a box and this was your entry, guys. Imagine you enter here and you're targeting where? To the half. So how many pips were these? Oh my goodness, this was an easy trade. 145 pips. You'd have been taking a drawdown of 81 pips. I say anytime you are getting into weekly trade, anytime you're getting into weekly trade, you have to know that uh, the, the retracement is a bit deep. So 145 pips, and then the market breaks again the half. This was an easy trade. Check, 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 check. The half was broken, guys. If the half was broken, again, you enter a sell up to the half neckline so you enter sell the drawdown was 23 pips and the take profit was 238 that was a very very easy trade i hope these are some of the trades you guys will be getting involved now the problem came when the neckline was broken i always tell you the neckline is like a support so i can even put here this neckline means neckline stroke what you know people think neckline is not neckline stroke support so when support breaks like this, we need to be attentive to, to ask ourselves, is it a fake breakout or a continuation breakout? Is it fake or continuation? We have not even known the direction of the market. So this market you can see already, it went up. So of course, if we, the market was here, it would be our job to know what is happening around this area on the daily so that it doesn't have to be, there's a, an activation of a double bottom that we don't know. But you see already the market has gone up. So we need to go on the daily to check. Do we have pattern two? Because already we go pattern one. So we need to check for pattern two. And you know pattern two are the most stubborn patterns in a chart. So we go. We are trying to check where the market, um, and I will show you with what I was telling you. I have even seen it. Um, where the market stopped, you can see the market stopped. Can you see there's, there's one candle, like a shooting star. That one candle might give us a what? A support that made that market to go up, like activated. Can you see there's one candle? So the question is, was this one candle so we place it because 
if you have red followed by green already, you have a support. So that red candle is authorizing. If we didn't have a red candle, our support would be here. But the fact that we have that red candle, we have a support. I hope guys you're following because this will help you so much. Again, you have not known from lower time frame if you enter, we are still building the case, guys. Don't, don't give up on me. We are still building the case. So you're on the deal, and that's why people <laughs> analyze so fast. Like they take five minutes, just scroll. Oh, it's a buy. Let me buy. No, you have to take time. You have to take time in your analysis. So that one candle support made a market that broke the neckline on monthly, uh, on weekly, get rejected at that support. And they, they did that purposely. In fact, they knew what they were doing. Already they knew that if we bring this market around this area and there's that support, what will happen? The market will get rejected. So they already knew what they are doing. Can you see that rejection? Uh, bam, it's a very good rejection. So the rejection confirmed to us a double bottom, making us have pattern two. Now, let me tell you, if you don't know how to get these patterns, I'm telling you, you have to always watch my videos on how I get them. Only the Holy Spirit who can help you to identify, to open your eyes. I told you this day, next month is the month of effort. Everything, your eyes, your ears, your everything has, has to be open. For you to spot that is a, a support, hey, it does not come easily. You have to trust a supreme, a most high knowledge. That is the Holy Spirit. So we are seeing this double bottom. It had a one candle. Like I'm telling you that this market again, it had a one candle, a one candle kind of, you can see one, two, three, four, five. So this market had a one candle ranging. So this one candle ranging, uh, we had an entry around here. And once we got an entry, the market dropped with how many pips? 132 pips before it goes up. So the, the ranging, I've told you, once the ranging breaks, it will go that distance. Once you have one candle ranging and it breaks, this is psychology. It is just manipulating. It, it wants to manipulate you to think that the market will not go. So for me, when I see one, two, three, four, five, and the market breaks out of that ranging, I already know that the market will go to the upper side because they have already. So all this, what was happening was for you to close the trade, give up on the trade. I think it is not going anywhere. So it was just for that. So even we have seen a ranging market up, um, unfolding in our, in our eyes. So we have pattern, we have pattern, Two. This pattern two is not on the weekly. So their goal is to go to the half. Their goal is to go to the half. So let's measure the half of this double bottom. Can you see where the half is? And apparently they have broken the half. So that's where the half is. And they have done what? They have broke the half. Can you see? So we have pattern one on the weekly. Let me write it, P1 on the weekly, and then we have P2 where? P2 on the daily. This is if you want to trade ranging of one candle that has uh, 600 pips, you need to master your pattern. So you have P2 on the daily. Now majority here, they will come and enter by because they watch my videos and they see when you have a double bottom, has, half is broken, they'll come and do a long position and they buy to the half. Let me tell you, if you know this is your pattern two, <laughs> you can't do that because pattern two are there just to give you like, uh, you see the way here we were given an entry, pattern two, that's what they do. Once they give you an entry, they have to retrace. Even here, they have given you an entry and they have to retrace before they go where they want. So that's the work of pattern two. And once I realize that, now I'm getting it easy, as in I'm trading it in an easy way. So there's no way you can buy 
knowing that here you have a pattern three confirming, which can give you entry. Can you see that? Can you see that, guys? Can you see that? There's no way you can enter this market knowing very well we have pattern three coming. So pattern three, of course, it's going against pattern two. And this is our possible double top. So this possible double top is our pattern three. And let me tell you, if you do this in any market, it will be the exact, because you're following steps. If you are trading and you can be able to identify, so pattern three is still on the daily, it's still on the daily, and it's a double top suggesting that first the market activate, that's the first thing we need to see, activation of that double top, activation. And then we use what? We use WBB strategy for the market to do what? To sell. So if we check on this double top, if we check on that double top, where is our neckline? This is our neckline. Let me remove this. Not this whole move, you missed it. I won't go about it because if you open the chart and the move has already happened, you already missed it. So let's measure our half. Can you see where our half is? So if we get an entry, that's our first take profit. If the market breaks, breaks our half, we are continuing to the neckline. So that's how we are trading. Like I said, when you're trading inside our one candle ranging, you don't hold your trade and you target 50 to 100 pips and you're done. Because at the end of the day, the, the ranging, this market has to break out. This ranging, see there, they have to break out there and they have to break this red line. That's the only way you can know for sure the direction. Can you see? So this double top, let us confirm if they get activated, is it on the weekly? We want to confirm because we don't want to be involved in a double top that is on the weekly. Is it there? No. Can you see? It's not there. So can we start now? So immediately now you have aligned everything. You had not traded. Now this is the time you're being told, have patient, let it activation. This is now the first time Maybe you are analyzing this during the weekend. This is how your chart will look over the weekend. Now you're waiting for Monday open and now you start to trade. So the first thing is the market to activate. So Monday comes and you come and you're like, okay, they didn't activate and they are selling. Don't be tempted to sell. Wait, the rules, I told you have to have rules and apply them. Our first rule is activation. So as we wait, let's see what happened. Is our rule accomplished? Of course, yes, we have the activation. So now we have a possible double top that has been activated. We can now apply WBB. Already you know WBB, you wait for red candle, number one. Number two, you check if it's a bearish engulf. If not, you put a box. So you have a double top. Let's wait for bearish engulf. You get another green candle. You're waiting for bearish engulf. So if you're waiting for bearish engulf, I have to, to, I have to draw that line so that the red line can break and engulf. So I need to see a red candle engulfing like that so that I can be convinced that sell has agreed to, to, to as in to come in board. So that's the red candle I'm waiting, a bearish end gap. If I don't get a bearish end gap, I will put a box. So that's what we have. Next candle. What do we get? We get a bearish end gap. So this, guys, is a bearish end gap. This is, this is your first trade of trading a one candle bearish end gap. I told you. As long as the one candle ranging, it is inside, it has not broken any, any side, the market can sell on buy. The fact that it has not broken at resistance or support, it means it can sell or buy. So your first take profit, imagine how good it is when you find a double bottom only on one time frame. Guys, how good it is. How good it is. 
this you should give God a celebration because this is free money. So we have that. So how many pips are these? 144. I have told you, make sure you target between 50 to 50 to 100 pips. So we will not target all the 100, um, we will not target all the 144 pips. We just want 100 pips because we understand that you're not here to hold. Why? Because the market can form a double bottom here and buy. So you see the reason why we are not uh, pushing the market to, to extreme. And then we can also have a double bottom around this area. So we don't want to push our limits. So our take profit is 100 pips. Are we together? So let's see what happens. <clears throat> the market, the first day, the second day, almost take profit hit the third day, fourth, fifth, and the sixth day. Like one week, the TP was hit. Guys, can you see? 100 pips. 100 pips was hit. But you took one, two, three, four, five. One week of the market not doing anything and you, you had patient with it and you are like, uh, at the end of the day, I, I am here, I've analyzed, I've done my part. Let's see the drawdown. If you had entered around here, the drawdown you could be taken is 65 pips. So it was like one is two. So you would have taken a drawdown of five and you are targeting a hundred so that is like one is two two what else are you supposed to do you wait for what you wait for half to be broken or the market to activate that double bottom so let's wait for what will happen next candle you're thinking the market is making a double bottom so let's see what happens with this double bottom But this is not a double bottom because it has tempted one, two, three, four. So it's like a ranging. So I don't advise you to trade on a ranging market. So let's see what happened after that. So the market has, has uh, this candle is to tell you that sellers are not yet uh, uh, exhausted the sell. And the take profit of half is touched. So the 144 pips were completed. You are still waiting for half to break and the half is broken. Now, guys, here I want you to be very, very careful because I told you every time a support is broken, if a support is broken, you have to ask yourself a question. If this support is broken, is it fake or continuation? Is it fake or continuation? So you, you, you have to ask yourself, is it fake or continuation? So don't go all. Oh. So how do you check if it's fake or continuation? You go to four hour time frame and you try to look, do I have another thing uh, making my market? Um, you see, even here they have, can you see? This is four hour they have broke this. So there's no way they, they broke there. There's no way the market is giving you, um, what do we call it? There's no way it can, it can give you a double bottom on four hour because even four hour they have broke. That's the surety you wanted. So once four hour is broken, you are targeting this area. Can you see this area, guys? We are targeting which area? Because we are thinking what if the market can come here and activate a double bottom that is not on the daily and also it can come to this area and activate this one. So first let them settle here. So when that is said and done, like I've said, these are not the trades to, to target up to the neckline. You cannot hold, remember it was a one candle range. So our take profit is this area. And let's see how many pips are these. Let's see how many pips. Because you see it's already 50 pips. So for 50 pips, we come and enter. Don't target to the neckline. You trade it step by step. So you trade it up to the neckline. So that is 50 pips. So let's see what happened. 
you see immediately guys the 50 pips was easier because you're not holding you're not treating this market as a a way of holding your like we are not holding this market because you have an idea this is not a, a trade to hold so take profit was hit immediately and because the take profit was hit it was because of us being afraid of this double bottom the fact that we knew the market can come to this double bottom made us be afraid of it so by the time the market is here now at the end of the day you can't know what to do you don't want to sell you don't want to buy you have you um no you rely on when you're in this position you can only sell if four hour they break this area you see if they break here you can sell up to here and again you see this week so for me how do i identify like i have a zone these weeks they show me on lower time frame if i have a zone so let's make sure we don't have a zone in between when you go to two hours let's see do we have a zone can you see this is a zone that you could not have spot on four hour. and they put it there because people will be ignorant they can break the four hour support so that the the two hour can be activated so be be, be very careful be very careful so that is it. You see that that is a zone that is not even on four hour and it is called a blinded zone. If this market wants to blind you, they'll give you a blinded zone. So as long as the market is at these three areas, you are afraid because let me tell you, the reason why we are afraid of selling anymore is because these zones are not visible on the daily, meaning pattern four can come out of four hour which means it is very very powerful so we can see between zone the zone that has been activated we are waiting for what are we waiting for crb so we will come here and put um like a line like that so we cannot enter if crb is not given you know people think that ah because it's a double bottom let me buy no we need crb on that candle uh, we need CRB, current resistance break. Let me remove this. I'll go removing things that we don't want. So here, I'm thinking we will have P4 if we get break on that resistance. Are you agreeing, guys? The only way we can get P4 if that resistance is done, what? Is broken. And this now is our new half. So we are hoping that the market will break that resistance, current resistance, give us an entry and we can now buy. That's what I'm saying. When half of one double top breaks like this, it is not for you to go and rush on that sell. Why? Because this area, this area, and this area, the market can get rejected. So it's better you don't sell and you wait for a buy because a buy, and note on a higher time frame, everything was picking of a buy. The trend was a buy. The price action was a buy. The pattern, we had a very big double bottom that was good. So everything was speaking for a buy. So in, even if we were selling, we were selling because of activation of double top and we were given WBB and the double top was only on daily. It was not on weekly. So if at all we should continue to sell, we don't need to sell area that has been activated. How can you tell me you will sell because half has been broken and already a new double top has been activated. We are waiting for entry. Now that's where people make mistakes, getting involved in a trade. And it is clear that this trade has exhausted the sale. The fact that on four hour, we have that activation of the double bottom. The fact that the double bottom has been activated on four hour, given us CRB, this is our CRB guys. If you don't know CRB means current resistance break. It's a matter of time the CRB is broken and we start buying up. So there's no way you will be fooled by pattern three and stand on pattern three like, oh, it's the only thing. Can you see now? But we cannot call this pattern three because it has not given us an entry. So let's continue and see what happens. Now, even we are done with the daily time frame because we need to check on these two areas what the market is doing. So the market comes like that. You're waiting for current resistance to break. And as you wait, nothing is happening. 
it has come back down. And guess what? Note, if the market doesn't want to buy, they cannot break the CRB. That's why the CRB is almost 99% accurate. Why do you think they never broke here? Because they don't want. And then they break the, our double bottom and it becomes invalidated. That's why we can't, I could not have called that pattern four. So we don't have a double bottom there and the market is still selling. So the only thing now we have is this on two hours and this one on, on four hours. So we have the market should either activate here and go up or activate our four hour time frame. So this is what we want. Let's see what happens when the market comes like that. So we, we are getting some rejection. The market doesn't know what to do. The market is going back, going down, going back, going down. And let's see if they have activated. Not yet. And note the next zone that it's being activated is a uh, two hour, two hour. If they activate here, we remove the two hour. And for me, I believe they can partake the two hours because not everyone who is seeing. If you come on four hours, you'll be blinded because you'll be selling up to this zone, not knowing on two hours you have a double bottom that it's not on there. And that's what I was saying. As long as a pattern is not on the one on the four hour daily, you can even trade it on one hour or two hours. So if you check here, this double bottom that has been activated, nowhere nowhere then guys what are we checking what are we noticing on the daily when we see these candles can you see it's the same thing that we are learning the same thing we are learning it has repeated itself again how many candles are these one two so a red candle followed by a green we get a support area so these are support and the green happens to have a very big week so our support is here a green followed by red we get a what a resistance so resistance. So we have a resistance and you have a support. So support is around that area. What do you think this is? This is a one candle resist, one candle ranging. And I told you the direction that this market, if this market wants to buy, they have to deal with this. So you are so on the daily, they have given us pattern. So we have we have uh let's first deal with two hours. Let's first deal with two hours because that double bottom is not on four hours. Can you see? That's how two hours has activated. These are two hours activated the double bottom. Let me squeeze it so that you can see. So the only way I can call this pattern four is if we get an entry. That's the only way I can call it pattern four. You don't just call a pattern if you don't have an entry. So we are waiting for a red candle here. We put a, a line and then if that resistance is broken, we get an entry. So let's continue. So the buyers continues. Can you see the buyers are continuing? They are going to break what? Our current resistance. Here is our current resistance. This is our current resistance, guys. Can you see it? That's our current resistance. These are CRB. So if they break here, automatically we have pattern four. That is a double bottom on, on two hours. That is crazy. So we wait, nothing is happening. We wait, so we get a new resistance. You just push it like that. That's our new resistance, current resistance. So we wait. Can you see how it's rejecting? It's rejecting that resistance, rejecting, rejecting, nothing is happening. The market starts to go down. And finally, the resistance is broken. Can you see where we get an entry? If they didn't want to buy this market, trust me, trust me, they cannot break that current resistance. They cannot. So this current resistance is broken. The market breaks this current resistance. So already I've told you, and what kind of arranging is this one candle again? And I told you, if one candle ranging breaks, it's an indication that that market is buying. So already we have an entry. So pattern four is P4 on the two hours. So pattern four is P4 on two hours, like that. So as we are getting an entry, this is our entry, guys. Have we, have we measured our half? 
Have we measured our half? Let's see. Where is our half, guys? Let's try to measure it to see if it is the right thing. Our half is below there. There is our half. The double top, the double bottom has RBS making more confirmation on our buy. RBS. So you get an entry, guys. You get an entry around here. Where is our entry? You get this entry. Long position. And let's see how many pips we are targeting at that time. We are targeting how many pips? 111 pips. So even you can target like 100 pips. And the stop loss is just below that area. So I don't think the market can activate a double bottom on two hours, break resistance and fail. I have not seen one. I don't think that can happen. So what is happening is that by the time the TP1 is hit, let's see what happened after that. So the market comes back. You see, it is ranging. The market is ranging at an area. So the market ranges, ranges. And you see, when this market is ranging like this, on the daily, let me show you what is happening. On the daily, this is what we have. So already we have an entry. On the daily, there are one candle ranging. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, we start again. One, two, three. One candle ranging. And then all of a sudden, the one candle ranging breaks. They break our resistance. Can you see our resistance here has been broken? After, after that, one candle ranging breaks our resistance like this. What does this tell you? It tells you that this market is going to go up because one candle ranging does not, does not do fake out. One candle ranging is like it's an accurate ranging. So already we have a conviction that this market is going up. So you can even add more position and target to the half. So we want to see what really happened on two hours because of course your pattern, your pattern is on two hours. So we want to see what was happening. So our entry was here and all of this is ranging. You can see we entered here, the market gave us like how many pips it gave us. After we entered, we got like 42 pips. Then we were taken down on 48 pips and it is ranging like that. Now even we understand that on higher time frame we are supported. Let's see what happened after that. So the market starts to go up, go up. Ranging again, ranging, ranging. Can you see what has happened? Can you see what has happened? The half has been broken. Can you see that huge candle that broke our half? The candle that broke our half. Once your TP is hit, you come again and do what? You enter again and do what? And target. To where? We are targeting where, guys? This is a double bottom. Where is our neckline? Here. Did the TP hit? Exactly, it hit after we targeted. So that double bottom, this double bottom, half was activated, neckline was activated, and the market gave us everything we needed. So when we come to daily and see what had happened, guys, I want to show you something. When you come to daily and try to think about what had happened, you are just given one candle. Can you see this one candle? How would you have traded? The question is, how would you have traded if you never saw the double bottom of two hours? That's the question you should ask yourself. If you think I can spend almost one hour, <laughs> we are 10 minutes away from one hour. If you think I can spend one hour just to teach you nothing, I think you don't know who has sent me. I'm sent by the Holy Spirit himself. And the Holy Spirit teaches you things that nobody can see. 
if I can train people to start seeing that when the ever market prints a pattern, they can use pattern four for this market to sky low because already pattern two gave us, pattern three gave us everything we needed. But the problem came here when you never saw the double bottom on two hours. I know majority would have gone to four hours. And the, the question would be, why did this market? Because they cannot know why did this market buy like that? Because they are, they are taking this as arranging. So they take this as arranging and they're thinking, why did it go all the way? What is happening? Because even if you take this as arranging, you'll be left floating because the arranging will complete. And the market will still go up and you're not, you're, you're wondering why did the market go up like this? It's going to the neckline of the double bottom on the two hours. So the question is guys, you might know how to trade a double top. You might know how to trade a double bottom, but the hidden secret, they hide it in time frames that you cannot even imagine. For me even to realize that, the double bottom was hidden on two hours and not on four hour. And if you try, imagine, I just want to imagine, you see the market makers, this is what they do. When this market was selling like this, there was just baiting us. This was just market makers getting more positions for the buy. So yes, we made money here. And how many people en entered market when this half was broken? Can you see how many people entered trade when this market was was um uh, started? So I want to delete and I show you what really happens. This is what happens, guys. We had a double bottom. We had a double top. Let me show you. We had a double top around here. This is the double top. This is PP1 because I know the chart has been having a lot. So this is P1. This is recap. So when you have P1, just go and look for P2. So P2, after P1 was activated, this leg, you see this leg is the one that activated our P2 pattern two, and that's a double bottom. So they used daily to activate a double bottom. Something you need to understand is that the market don't, act, don't have like three or four trades in one pattern. So on the daily, they had already exhausted. They had already given us P2 and P3. So they had already given us two patterns in one time frame because when you came here, they already given us another pattern. Can you see? They gave us another pattern. So because they know many people will go now to lower time frame because they think, uh, see, I will go to lower time frame. So this is P3. So for P4, they just said, instead of us giving them with four hour, because yes, half has been broken and majority will enter. Imagine. People entered targeting the neckline because it was so obvious. You are targeting, you, you are targeting the neckline, but you are given a drawdown of how many pips? 366 pips. That's a lot. So majority knew if that has been the process, double top on weekly, double bottom on the daily, then you get the double bottom. Oh, so I'll go to four hour. The problem now came to four hour. When now people flipped on four hour and they saw ah, uh, what even we are looking for, the double bottom has been violated. That double bottom has been violated. And now they are coming to this double bottom. So they, they had left this part for you not to see. You see between here and between these two levels, they had a very hidden level on two hours. That's why I tell you, you have to use all the time frame. So on the two hour is where they had hidden the dam. So the treasure was on the two hour. And trust me, the two hour is what completed. Can you see? The two hour is what they used to complete. So for you, you're thinking, why did the market stop? But they used the four hour, the two hours. So if you come to four hour, nothing. You can't see that double bottom. You can't see that double bottom. But if you speak, if you fail to see the four hour, they still give you. So we have which pattern? We have pattern three, we have pattern four. And they say, if you fail again to, to check pattern four, we still want to communicate with our fellow banks to tell them, if you guys have not seen the pattern four, this is not for retail traders. If you have failed to see pattern four, 
go to daily and spot one ranging candle pattern. So pattern four was visible on two hour, but there was another pattern we call one ranging. And this video is about one ranging. You might think, why am I talking of double bottom, double top? How would you know that a ranging candle has happened if you don't have the double tops, the double bottoms to give you entries? So what made this market to go up was the one candle. You see, the confirmation, the P5, was what even they used to make sure this market go up. And the one candle, they always finish. I told you, the one candle, if it broke like that and you said, let me enter and my take profit is there. Like it was instant. The one candle take profit was hit. So the question is, as we reach there, because I have five minutes remaining to for us to clock this tutorial one hour, because it's very, very, like when I, you hear me telling you, I will teach you this. I want to give you more information, give you more study on this so that whenever you find a one candle ranging and it breaks, you don't have, like, what am I supposed to do? Like here, guys, this one is how many candles? This is one candle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you come and say, if this is a one candle, it's a sure bet. You don't even wait for retracement. I wait for the market to break. It breaks here. Can you see the direction the market took? Can you see? Can you see how it dropped? This is a strategy you can start doing even on lower time frame. And then you WhatsApp me, you tell me, I tried it on five hours, on five minutes. I tried it on one hour. This is our pips. Like if you entered here, how many pips would you have got? 120 and the, still, the market still went down. So one candle ranging is very, very powerful. So that being said, if we go to monthly and see what was happening on the monthly time frame. Still, the market was where? On the ranging. Can you see? The patterns we are getting is still on the ranging. What if, what if, guys, we said, let's wait. Let's, we don't want to stress, up, to stress ourselves. Can we wait? Can we remove all this? I just want to wait. And the day they will realize they want to break, let them break. And when they break, let them call me. You see, you have a choice. If you have a ranging, one candle ranging, you have a choice to wait for the market to break. But if you want to trade inside, it won't be easy. So the question is, what if someone said, for me, when I spot a one ranging, one ranging candle pattern, I don't enter if the market has not broken either side. So this person, you see, we were trading this to one month. This is what we were like, we were taken on a, roller coaster like up down up down so someone says i will wait so i want to show you an easy an easy way if you don't want all those hassles there's an easy way out and that's what i said on four hour and daily we don't trade inside we trade it after it has broken so you will trade everything as the same like wait for the direction and this one we don't even we don't even separate half you need to understand this one we do not separate half guys we don't this one is full, 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 like everything, like everything. You, you, once the market breaks, you enter and gain everything. So 638 pips. So you just wait and see if it breaks above, I will enter. If it breaks below, I will enter. It's that easy. So let's see what happens. So we have one month, the market didn't break. We have the next month. You can imagine many people thought this market will break because this candle was, let, let's start again and you see how the month started. Um, the month started like it wants to break. Can you see? Can you see? If you had found, if this candle closed like that, that market would sell. But the problem is you are coming back after one month to check. See what happened after you come back. The market didn't break. In fact, which direction did the market break? And that's why I say these things are tricks. Which direction did the market break? Which one do you think? Let's see when the candle closes. The market broke on the upper side. So it made sure it has removed both sellers and those who are buying until those who are 
waiting for the ranging. So I've said, if you enter such a ranging, guys, this is money. So if you enter, you can go to lower time frame to look for entry. If you wait, enter such a ranging, you wait until they take profit. So the take profit is how many pips? 513. Imagine that is guaranteed. We have clicked one hour. Oh my goodness. One hour of this lesson. I need to finish it. So let's see what happened. Did the market hit the take profit? Did we hit the take profit? We hit the take profit. And not only we hit the take profit, I told you, once the market breaks the side, the market hit the take profit the first month. Can you see? Our first month, the take profit was hit. This box should be here. Can you see, guys? Our first month, the market hit. So it was 513 pips guaranteed. The question is, did the market retrace? No. Imagine if you had a lot, 10 of, lot of 10, how many pips? 23 pips. And you're getting 533. I think I should finish this video here. Oh, my goodness. That market bought like crazy. So that's what happened. Even after that, the market continued. So, and they came back to retest. So at the end of the day, guys, I wanted to show you the power of one candle ranging. Comment down below. What have you got? By the way, if you have watched until the end, I want to do a prayer for you. Heavenly Father, thank you for this soul that has stayed for this video until the end. The Lord that given me, the Lord that has given me the knowledge to see these things, to understand, to interpret the market. I pray the same knowledge of God. I pray the same mind of Christ to be on everyone who will watch this video. When they encounter this video, God, I pray that you may open their ears, you may open their eyes, you may open their mind to see the setups and they may execute. I cancel the spirit of fear. I cancel the spirit of confusion. I cancel the spirit of self-doubt, second guessing themselves. Once they understand the concept, Father Lord, direct them to this kind of, of patterns in the market so that they should execute. Father, I pray for everyone who's watching me, who has completed the video. This prayer is for that person who has stayed until the last. My God, my Father, their trading journey will never be the same again. You have opened their eyes, their ears, and everything. And all I can pray is greater and greater miracle upon their trading uh, results. May you open up their mind beyond the imagination. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best and see you in the next video. Love you.